Welcome to Vid Society. In this video, I'm going to be doing a review for you on a product called GPT Voicer. This is a rather unique product, especially if you currently use Chat GPT, and if you would like to take that content and add voice over to it. Now it does more than that, and we'll get into that throughout this video. Below this video, you'll find a link that'll take you to the sales page where you can get more information and more details if you're interested in picking it up. Currently, GPT Voicer is still in its launch week and you can pick up a commercial license for just $18. All right, let's dive in and I'll show you how this works. Now, when you log into your account, this is what you're going to see with a welcome video here that explains everything and all the features over here on the left hand side, just in case I miss something. So the first thing you want to do is come over and click on integration. Then you want to enter your open API key in this box to find it. Just follow step one and step two here or watch the video and it explains it. It's really easy to do. And once you're ready to get started, come up and click on GPT writer. This is very similar to going to chat GPT and typing in your prompt here. This tool has a lot of prompts already created for you in this drop down box. Now I do wish they had this organized in a better way, but all you have to do is just scroll down through here and you can see there are many on many different topics. And all you have to do is click on one of them for it to populate the box with a prompt. So for example, let's say we want to create content based around finance. All we have to do is select one of these 10. It says, why are index funds so highly recommended for investing? And it'll give us an answer. Let's say we're not crazy about this one. So we come back up here and maybe do uh, prompts for finance five. It says, I'm trying to educate myself on investing. Can you help me to understand the difference between bonds and stocks? Okay, so this is good, but I wanna make sure there's gonna be enough content. It's not gonna create just a couple sentences. So what I can do at the end of this prompt is type something like, write at least 300 words and click create. Now I'm gonna give it about 30 seconds to a minute and we should have our content. Now that we have our content, I can come up here and regenerate it if I want. I can copy the content to the clipboard, which I'm gonna do. And then I'm also going to save it so I can use it again later if I want to. Now I'm going to come over to GPT Speech Converter and click on it. Now I'm going to click on New Vox. This stands for New VoiceOver. And what we want to do is give this a title. So in here, I'm just going to put Stocks. In the text box, I'm going to paste in the content we just copied. And it says Character Limit is to 1000. So let's go ahead and just take off the end sentence here. And now you can see there's 906 characters out of a thousand, which is fine. After adding this, you can come over and pick who you want to read this. So for example, let's listen just to a couple of these. Hi, I can read any text you type here. With cloud machine learning, your application interprets images, texts, and more. With cloud machine learning, your application interprets images, texts, and more. Hi, I can read any text you type here. Okay, so this one sounds really good, so we're gonna use it. And then if you want in this drop down box, you can choose output volume. I recommend just keeping this on default. The other ones, uh, it kind of changes the voice where it doesn't sound as good. And then you also have speaking rate. So you can do slow, medium, and fast. And normally I just keep this the where it is too. But sometimes if you slow this down a little bit, it even sounds better. What we're gonna do now is click on generate Vox. And we're gonna give it just a minute and it's already done. So in just a few seconds, it's ready. And right here is the one we did, so let's listen to it. Understanding the difference between bonds and stocks. Stocks and bonds are two of the most popular investment options, and they offer two distinct ways of participating in the financial markets. Both stocks and bonds are important securities that can be traded and bought. While they both offer investors the chance to make money, they are two very different types of investments. Bonds Okay, so that sounds really good. I like how they pause and I like how her voice kind of adjusts to what she's talking about. Now, the first sentence here, you can see I did mess up because I added in the title where she read the title and then she started right into the first sentence too. So I should have deleted uh, this first part here. But overall, this is how that works. Now, if we wanted to make this even sound better, what we could do is come over here and we can click on where it says music. So if we click this, we can add background music to it. So up here we can write, uh, we'll just do stocks with music. And then here it says no background music selected. So we can go here and then select a background music to play with this. And you can select on each one of these and then hit play. A lot of these are kind of mysterious, creepy, kind of like Halloween, you would think. Um, but there's a few in here that do sound really good. So let me go up here and see if I can find one of these. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick nine. I'll let you listen to it for a second. And then down here it says background music volume default. So when you click this, I recommend you choose like 0.5 or 0.75 because if you don't, the background music is too loud. And then you got your Vox voice file volume, which is default. So I just keep that one there. And then down here, you're going to pick which one of these that you have that you've created that you want to merge with this audio. And we're going to do the one here for stock. So we're going to add that. And then we're going to come down and click on merge and generate. And now that that's done, you can see we have it here, stocks with music. So if we click on play. Understanding the difference between bonds and stock stocks and bonds are two of the most popular investment options. And they offer two distinct ways of participating in the financial markets. Both stocks and bonds are important securities that can be. So that sounds really good. And one thing I really like about this tool is everything is here in one place. Now you also notice here it says GPT video converter. So this is an upsell. So you can create videos from your content also. So if we come over and click on create video, you can enter a video title here and then it's going to put text from what you enter down here in this box. And that's what the video is going to be. It's basically text videos. You can choose your video resolution, your background music, and then you can also add slide breaks, which I recommend. So you'll probably have to create this a few times before you learn how ex exactly it works. And what I recommend, um, let me just show you a video that I made. So here's a video right here. We'll go ahead and click on edit and I'll let you see how it looks. Getting a puppy can be a wonderful experience, but it also comes with a lot of responsibility. Our program, how to train your new puppy will help you learn the best practices to so after you create your video, this is what it looks like. But this text here that I have in this box, you need to make sure that you don't have these really long sentences. Um, you have to have line breaks in them. So what I did is I took all this content and after the word puppy, sure this comma, puppy grows. I hit enter and started a new line. And then after ensure, I hit enter and started a new line. Because if you don't do that, this text actually runs outside of the box. And then over here, you have other options too, where you can generate thumbnails. Uh, here, if you click on text, it says text water market. You can add border around your text or you can do scrolling text effect. And then there's some other options here uh, where you can reverse the video, you can rotate it, adjust the speed, trim it, images, images fade, uh, background music and voiceover. So these are some different options. For me personally, I won't be using this, but uh, I really do like the speech converter, especially for that price of just $18 to be able to have a voiceover that I can use to create videos with or even audios on my website. It's just a really nice tool to have. And really that's all there is to this. And if you come back to your dashboard, you're going to notice down here at the bottom are training videos. It's going to take you to a page here that has all these videos that shows you how to use the tool and do everything with it. Because I'm sure there's a lot of things that I missed in the video, but I basically wanted to show you what this tool did uh, to see if it'd be a benefit to you and what you do online with ChatGPT. If you are interested in it, that link's below the video. Go to the website, check it out, get more details. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and I'll let you know when I upload another video. Have a great day.